Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Daryl Smith, of course. Chris Picard is uh, having a hernia operation tonight. So I'm going to open the show with some incredible uh, tune for you on my illustrious kazoo. As time goes by, which, by the way, is the Warner Brothers opening theme, as you witness the Warner Brothers look up. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, just back from his hernia operation, uh, the preparation age, I'm sure, is uh, is looming uh, massively tonight. And here he is. I feel much better. Mr. Christopher Pick. It's a little tender, but it's I'm so good. It's so good to see you, dude. Yeah, how are you? I, well, you seem to be sitting down pretty cozy there. I'm good. I'm All right, good. I'm in good. We're glad everyone's happy. I'm glad it's okay. Okay. Um, welcome aboard, guys. Another aboard. episode. Of Number 145, we have uh, an interesting show on our... You know, we, had a, we did a new restaurant tonight, evening. we did go to Roxanne. Roxanne! I was talking, you interrupted me. You don't have to put out the red... As I was saying, before we get to restaurant bullshit, Yeah. Um, it's episode 145, I just want to tell them that we're doing a, a best of and worst of yeah. 2019 show tonight. If there's anybody we're out there We're going to be covering uh, the movies we loved and hated, but an amendment. We're doing an alternative best of. Not, That's right. We're not touching any of the Oscar-nominated films. We're doing some other films that maybe have been overlooked. Precisely. Other films we loved Absolutely. other than the ones you're hearing all I about. I take full credit for this concept because uh, otherwise, I let, let's face it. I, no, let's well, face it. Well, every year we just do the same thing. So we do the nice same bullshit. We would have done the Irishman, Joker, Little Women, Baby, Baby, Usual uh, shit. Parasite. You know, we would have just gone over movies. Well, that we Parasite actually done. wasn't in my top five. Really? In my original choice, it wasn't going to be in the Oh, movie. God, it was definitely in I, li I liked it a lot, but I don't think it was going to be in my top five. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I don't know. This is, there was a lot of good movies. It's so hard to say, dude. There was a lot of good films. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we are going to do our own top five. And these are. are films that are from 2019. Actually, one of mine is from 2018, but it was released in 2019. I know what you're Yeah, I know. Yeah. Do you know the film I'm talking about? No, but I, there was several that I researched that remembered that <laughs> was the case. I'm sorry, your time is up. It's okay. You won't get to guess the film. Okay. But all right, so we're back. We've been off for we took a week off because uh, Chris had to, to do. Well, because something. we no, you took you said oh, let's no. take it off to do a proper best of show. Well, this so we is can true. catch up on some of the films. Well, this is true, which and, is true. And actually, and we as, did. as it turned out, as it turned out, it was a it was a useless thought because here we are taking movies from you know the previous part. But it's of the okay. Year. We needed a break anyway. Well, I watched I, a bunch of stuff this week. I, I did to. too, also, and we were yeah. you know originally thinking about seeing you know like Just Mercy. Uh, yes, you know, some new which films. I actually did go see. Of course. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we went to see that we one. Did. Oh, yeah, sure oh, we yeah. did. But you were but, saying, okay, so you want to jump to quick restaurant banter? I know you enjoyed uh, it. Quick restaurant banter. We went to a place called Roxanne's tonight. It was I've been there a million crazy. times. He'd never been. A million times. A lot of times. That's a lot of times. A lot of times. If you actually had gone there a million times, you would be eating nowhere else. And, uh, no, I know. I'd, I'd say be, I've been there your entire life at to, least... At least 30 times, really? if not for a lot. I've been there a lot. That's a lot. My family loves that place. We used to go all the time. It is a great place. I've gone there many times. No, the food uh, was delicious. My wife, it's delicious. Very expensive it's in Mawa. place. But, uh, uh, not very expensive, but pretty expensive. it's a little pricier than your average pizza place. But, you know, spaghetti and bolognese. It's the area we live in. It's Mawa, it's a rich area. No know. salad. No. Any Italian place gives you a little tiny stuff. They should give you some salad. They didn't. They didn't. All right, we're going to move right on to it now because so we've got do a big best, giant show for you. So and we're going to do, do our worst. We're going to do the best of, uh, my top five best of, not in the Academy realm, no. however. Yes. We're well, forgetting are, the Academy films. These are from the year but that we, they, liked. They, they, they we like that are they're out of the public eye right now, exactly. which are all being focused on by the Academy Awards coming out. Uh, the Actually, I believe it's the beginning or, or is it the end of February? When uh, are the Academy the 9th, Awards? February oh, 9th. Okay, so right. it's a couple weeks away. You know, it usually is the end of the month, but they moved it up to the 9th. Yeah, well, they moved it up a couple years ago. Did they? It's been a couple so years. Look, you look very serious all of a sudden. It's true, though. Okay. So why don't we begin? We may begin, if um, you like. Okay, we're going to so start with our best five and five. We don't know what each other's picks. We don't know what they it's are. It's always fun, but we don't know. This I like that. It's such a thrill. It is, to me. All right, so I'm going to start with my first pick over here. It's a film we both love. The Professor, starring oh. Johnny Depp. No kidding. Loved it. Oh. This is a wonderful little film. Such that, a great film. That came and went without a whimper, and it's a film that uh, people really should seek out. I agree. It's one of the better Johnny Depp performances the past 
decade, I'd say. Well, I'm very proud it's of you for remembering this film. It is well, wonderful. Well, this, honestly, was a re this was going to be in my top five regardless. Okay. I wanted to showcase this film. I love this film. It really too. took me by surprise. His performance knocked me on my ass in a way. It's Absolutely. It's a me strong too. Yep. role for him. And he's uh, gotten a lot of bad press excellent. as of late. He's well, been, personal you stuff. Know, he's yeah. done some, you know, knock the Amber Heard around. But who doesn't need to knock Amber Heard around once in a while? You know what I'm saying? Just give her a quick smack upside the head. She couldn't handle it. But uh, it's a wonderful think. film. It really uh, is. I don't need to get into the story too much. Just he's a college wow. professor Jeez. who finds out he's got terminal cancer. I totally forgot about it. And he one. starts... Um, living the way he wants to live and doing what he wants to do. And that's yeah. kind of the gist of it. And it's an uh, excellent this, film. So well, that's why I sent you the list of everything we reviewed. Ah. Oh, which I think the audience might like. So, as a point of it, a reference, so all of 20 of last year, all of 2019, yes. on this show, right. we reviewed 256 titles. That's a lot of titles. Now, that's films. There's a couple TV shows in there, but not a lot. Quite but a that's bit. 256 titles, which is pretty interesting. That's, that's a, a lot of that's damn That's a big movies. number. Yeah, that's we're busy. a lot of damn films. Yeah, no, I agree. I know. So People actually say to me, we you guys review a lot. A lot of movies. You guys review a lot of films. We do. We watch five yeah. a week, on average. Easily. For a while, in the I first couple years, we were doing... Probably 10 almost. I could have easily reviewed another 30 or 40. I'm sure. That I mean, I, I've watched more than that. Well, yeah, you've watched more than me, but I, I still I probably have 30 to 40 that I didn't review. Yeah, well. exactly. So that means yeah, you yeah. probably have double that. I 60. I, 80. Maybe. 2,000. Not that much. A million. Yeah. As many times as you've exactly. been to that restaurant. But I, uh, I definitely recommend The All Professor. Right. Very good. Uh, seek it out. It's on it's your wonderful. streaming platforms. Oh, Rosemary DeWitt, Danny Houston. Zoe, yeah, Zoe Deutsch, Deutsch is wonderful. Ron Levy it's a Love wonderful, it. wonderful, it's wonderful a great, film, great film that nobody knew about. Absolutely. And I really wanted That's to make sure people you knew about it. I just got the posters. Okay. I didn't do other pictures. Oh, I did other pictures. Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't think it was necessary. Well, it's okay. Well, you can. Oh, thank you. It's your prerogative. Okay. All right, so now Daryl's first choice. Okay. Um... Is I don't know what it is. I don't either. Let's see. Oh, Drive Across Concrete. Drive Across Concrete. Interesting choice. I love this film. It's a good film. It's a great little movie. It's two hours and thirty three minutes a long, long film. But you know what? I love this film. Yeah. It just went by in like a breeze for me. Here's your director, um, uh, Mr. Uh, John uh, O.J. I believe it's it's S. Craig Zoller. There you go. And there's Vince of course. Von, and, where's uh, Mel? Mel's uh, he's oh, there over he there. Yeah, he's Mel's in this there. film. Really good film. It really is a wonderful film. It's about film. a couple of cops that get caught beating up, uh, I guess, a black guy, and yeah. they get re reduced to, to... No, they go on leave. They're forced to leave. Correct. And then they have to make ends meet, so they end up getting involved in, in, in uh, criminal enterprises. Absolutely. And that's the gist. You know, it feels, really kind of, it feels a little bit film. like a Tarantino film a little bit. Yeah. It's just a good interaction of characters. Yeah, it's, it's a really good film. Photograph. I'm glad you picked that. I, I yeah. do. I'm, I, yeah. it's just I considered doing it, but I didn't. Okay. But it's a good film. All right. Yeah, check it out. It's, it's on your streaming platforms. Uh, you can find it everywhere. Dragged Across Country. Concrete is very, yeah, it's very wonderful. Good. Mel's the old vet, and uh, Vince is kind of the newer guy on the block, and... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just a great little film. It's and, really good. Uh, it, it's just, you'll get into it, and it's a good buddy pick. It is. It really is. Vince yeah. and Mel just, you They know, have good chemistry. Yeah. And um, this director also is the guy that did, you might have heard of Bone Tomahawk. He oh, yeah. also did another film uh, called Brawl and Subblock. Uh, was it 99? Well, that's another, another that's Vince Vaughn a newer film. Vince Vaughn film. That's violent. That's a super violent Very film. Very violent. I love that film. Yeah, it's a good film. I love it. And this has a couple violent surprises, too. Absolute. And Bone Tomahawk, if you've never Brutal. seen Bone Tomahawk. Brutal. Oh, my God. Oh my God. What the one of the most violent films I can there, remember well, in a long time. There's one specific scene where a oh, man my is literally <laughs> filleted like a fish. And and it's done so believable. graphically and so believable, it'll blow your mind. And the way it happens to this poor guy, oh my god! And Kurt Russell is it happens in that alive. Film. It's just a great little movie. Very slow moving. Check out both Just kind of yeah. edges along in its own pace, but oh my god, what the payoff it's is! It's really outrageous. a good, good film. It's a great movie. It's one of those little movies that you know the bad guy gets it in the end, and you're just so happy to see him. Get it's it. a wonderful film. It's a great little film. Yeah, really. It good. Reminds me of Deer Hunter a little. A little bit. bit. Yeah. You know, and I believe uh, Patrick Wilson's in that too, right? Yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. And it's Kurt Russell, as you mentioned, and a few other names that you'd notice. But yeah, Deer Hunter's a good comparison, you know? Well, the, you know, when they're taken captive. Yeah, the captive kind of element. You know, know, absolutely. Let us move Let's on move to, on to my second number two choice. Best film of Going the Going counting year. down to my number one favorite of the year. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I know yours aren't in any particular order, but mine actually are in order. I had a hard time doing the order. It's challenging, so it's not a perfect science. Okay. I won't tell anyone that you were intimidated. I, I struggled, and I decided to put Avengers on here. No kidding. I almost didn't. Huh. And the film, as an honorable mention, that almost like was going to be in this spot, I came this close to including yesterday in this spot. Mm. But I edged... For Avengers, because it's not getting any love, obviously, in the awards, which I, I totally didn't expect agree it to. No. But it's really I love an incredible film. film. It's the culmination of 23 Marvel films, 22 Marvel films. <laughs> Pretty much. And the, we have to really be in awe of the feat that it was for Marvel to keep this going. The Russo brothers? Well, they're the directors, yeah, but I'm I talking mean, about Marvel in general, oh, okay. Kevin Feige. And Correct. The whole plan, yeah, yeah. which was started with John Favreau. Absolutely. He was the first one with Iron Man. There you go. And it's just an amazing ensemble. Uh, it's got some heart-wrenching moments, very exciting. It's funny. It's really a wonderful film. And so I really wanted to include it. Absolutely. I totally agree. Yeah. I think it's a great film. It's a too. wonderful movie. I don't I need to say too much more. It's a great choice. I love this film. It's a great choice. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. So we'll move on to your next choice. Okay. My next choice is... Is... Let me guess. Um... The Current War? No. Hit it. Oh, you picked Avengers also. Very nice. You know, I wasn't Very, going to... It's funny that it's both uh, in the same choice. That's the funny. Avengers Endgame, I chose it because I was very moved by this film. It was a moving film. It's very moving. We have Thanos right there, a, yeah. a penis-headed guy that he is, played by Josh Brolin. Yes. Rather bril He's rather great. Briefly. Excellent. I love this film. It's a, it, of course, is the, is the sequel of uh, the previous film, Infinity War. And uh, and here's the whole poster. Yeah. Usually they do this poster or they do that. This poster. is the whole thing, yeah. But this is Pretty everybody cool. together. It's, it's kind of cool. And here's Robert Downey. And of course, if you live under a rock, you don't know. But you know, here's a major character that we did lose, of course, in this film. And uh, and made it very touching and very sweet. And and I thought nice. he was excellent in this film. I, you know, he's great in everything he does. He is. except Doctor Doolittle. Apparently, well, but yeah. he might be great. Well, yeah, but that's not his fault. That's a this is a it's marketing true. failure. More yeah, than that anything. is a marketing and a CGI. Failure. Most of the time, when a film bombs, it's a marketing problem. Most of the time, hey. sometimes there's word of mouth on a bad movie. No, word but of a mouth. A lot of times, uh, they don't know how to market a film. Well, no, like I, The Island, for example, from uh, uh, the mid 2000s. I remember The Island. Well, they did not how to market it. It's I a great that film. film. That was Scarlett Michael and, Bay, uh, Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. Yeah, the, I like that. I love that film quite a bit. Check out The Island. I believe it's from 2004 ish. Yeah, they escaped from a Big Brother type really facility cool. and uh, just go on. It's kind of like an Adam and Eve, but uh, I, I, you know, really like Ewan McGregor fart jingle bells. I know, bells. he's I amazing. He's just great. Yeah. And Scarlet is wonderful of in course. that film too. But I'm glad you included but, this also. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Absolute. Cool. So All right. right. There we go. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Uh, my next choice is... Motherless Brooklyn. Ah, what a great movie. Well, Edward Norton came very, very close yes. to putting this on there. Edward Norton's uh, newest effort love, as a writer, director, love, actor. I love this movie. Fantastic genre noir film. It's a detective story, but it's a character study. It's a mystery. It's got great supporting performances by Alec Baldwin, especially. Bruce Willis, very good in this. Willem Dafoe. Very quick, very quick yeah. call for Bruce. And I learned that most um, of the, basically the cast, they all pretty much worked for free uh, to make this movie, to get it made. Not surprised at yeah. all. You know, the only disappointing thing for me was Alec Baldwin. I, I didn't think he was I thought so he was great. Good. Did you? I, I thought he just kind of plays that same, you know, from the aviator. He's always that that harsh guy, that Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Okay, I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm in control here, and I'm going to tell everybody. But I think this had a, a level of subtlety that oh. some of the other films you've mentioned was a little bit more... Um, uh, commanding. It was still I, I liked his menace, his quiet menace. Uh, but he wasn't an evil guy. He was a business guy who ran the city. Well, you know, that's kind I don't know of, if he's evil, of, but I didn't. I, I was he evil in Glengarry Glen Ross? Was he? No, evil he was just in, a prick. Uh, well, I don't know if he was a prick, but Glen Gary was, was kind of a prick. Well, he was a bit of a prick. He was. Uh, you know, I love Willem Dafoe He's in this great. film. I love him in everything. I, I, he looks so much like uh, Vincent Van Gogh. He does. Which, of course, uh, he just finished Played. playing. He was up for that last uh, year. But uh, this this lady, I love right her too. Google and Bath What a face! She's very what a good. Lovely, lovely person. Yeah. Let's point out one thing, though. The the main man, the yeah. center, the 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 center universe of this film is Edward. Norton. I agree, hundred percent. And he is a guy that has Tourette's. Yes. And I'll tell you something. The first 
10 minutes, the first half hour, I had a very difficult time watching it because, uh, but it, it kind of reminded me of, um, there was a, a Ricky Gervais film and there was also another film about uh, people who have to tell the truth all the time. Well, the invention well, of lying. Liar, liar. Well, the, the, the invention, invention of, of lying, lying liar, 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 Ricky Jim Gervais. Perry. Yes. Correct. Uh, but in this time, he's like, uh, he's got Tourette's, so he'll simply sit there and, uh, you know, a beautiful one walk by and go, oh, yeah, I got a big press, big press, you know. And, but, and, and he, like, says, it's almost like he's a, he's he's a, no a an alien being. Yeah. Uh, and and it, it's almost like a, a, a James McAvoy performance. Where a little he's, bit. He's this one character, and then he jumps to this secondary character mm -hmm. that is just so bizarre and so off the wall, but then you just realize it's part of his demeanor. But then it kind of, you know, he starts out being the, the, the fool. We think of him bit. as the fool. Yeah. You know, almost in a Joker-like fashion, if you will. Yeah. And then as the film progresses on, we see, see the brilliance he's, yeah. that comes out of him. He's got the affliction, but he's not mentally impaired. He's not mentally impaired. No. And he really, he just solves it in such a great way. And I don't know, did Ed write this film? He, well, he, he, he wrote the screenplay. Oh, that's right. It's based on a novel called Motherless Brooklyn. What's there interesting, though, to me is that this book, original the book, the, the book took place in the 90s. He had the idea, the brilliance, to, to say, put it in the this needs to be 50s 40s. noir. 40s, 50s, post-World War II, this is 50s. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one thing about the Tourette's that I'm thinking is that generally, I'm not a fan of of, of movies or TV that use characters with Tourette's because nine times out of ten, A, it's, it's not done well, B, it's used for laughs and it's not funny. That, that, like what well, I, I, I remember it very specifically from, um, I believe there was a movie with Rob Schneider where there was a Tourette's. Really? There was a yeah, Farrelly's Brother movie, I think, but there's been other things that have characters that have Tourette's and it's when it's used for laughs just to get those swears out, I don't find mm. it funny. Um, okay. But he did he he did justice to it right, and sold me on it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't used as a gag, as a gimmick. Hey. Where all these other comedies tend to use it. Would have been a better you know? film if he hadn't had that affliction. I, I think it would be just as good. I don't think one. it was necessary. Yeah, I don't think it was what necessary was, either. What was evident was his brilliance. True. And that was the reason that Bruce Willis's character, who was his uh, kind of father figure, detective mentor. Right, right. Liked him because no, he we, saw we this kid had a gift, a, like a photographic correct. memory, correct. which a lot of people with these kind of ailments tend to do, especially people that have, you know, a spectrum like autism, some, no, no, something no, like no, that. Absolutely. A lot of them have photographic memories. But on the other hand, you know, I, I was thinking, well, how would this film be without him with this Tourette's syndrome? I think but, it would have been fine. But at the same time, it added immense humor to the film. No, it did. He was it, the relief. You know, yeah. He constantly would just be saying the most obscene yeah. horrifying things and certainly when he would be uh, confronting someone who's going to beat the crap out of him yeah. rather than submitting he'd say okay asshole stick it up your ass and, you know, he'd say the guy would say what'd you say to me and then Edward yeah. would have to you know, he'd repeat it in his Tourette's uh, voice you know he always turned to the side and hugged his shoulder a little yeah, bit yeah yeah well, yeah uh, great movie though I truly... well, check out Mother's Brooklyn it's now available out you can watch it it's, it's on wonderful. the platforms I think it's on Amazon right now I think it might be I think it is yeah, it's and out there it's for everybody dynamite check I it out I cannot say enough about yeah. it it's beautifully filmed it's I wonderful mean, it's very difficult to direct yourself and uh, he just just a great, Did job a great job up and down the line yeah. it's a beautiful piece of it's work it's his most accomplished work as a filmmaker I mean, he only made one other film before this, uh, Keeping the Faith. Oh, I like that film. Yeah, it was fun. I, that was uh, yeah, him, uh, Ben Stiller, ben Jenna Stiller, Elfman. Jenna Elfman. I it was. That I want to say late '90s that movie, early that, 2000s. I believe you're right. It was right. about a priest and a rabbi who yep. fall in love with the same woman. Uh, exactly. And a fun I, movie. And I he wrote that. It. That was the original screenplay. But okay. he wrote. No, I like that film. Yeah, a lot. it was fun. Yeah. But this is definitely an accomplishment. This is an accomplishment, and it's just great. It's great really poster, by the beautiful way. coloring and the design. I agree. It is nice. Let's move on to your next choice. Okay. Uh, over here, Daryl's next choice four. is a mystery to me. It is oh, the house that Jack built. Wow, you know, I thought of this too. I'll tell you why I put this on. Is the it, house that Jack built is a film with Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Uh, and it's, it's a serial killer it movie. Is. Here he is. Uh, and uh, well, it's directed this by uh, uh, Levy, or oh, I can't think of his name. Lars there. von Trier. Lars von Trier. There you go. Yeah, who's a controversial Not my life filmmaker. Is a dog. He's a, he's a wonderful. No, 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 no. That's lots of Hustrum. Oh, it is lots of Hustrum. He did um, Nymphomaniac. Oh. One and two. Oh, I didn't love Lars von Trier. Also did um, Antichrist. He did oh. these very provocative sexual okay. films. 
Here's uh, Elvis's granddaughter right here. Yes. Uh, that's the lovely... Riley Keough. Beautiful Riley Keough. Yeah. Uh, this is truly a, 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 a piece of work. Yeah. I, I, you know, One of Matt's best films. I, uh, with an actor. Out. Well, that's not saying really. too much, really. I mean, you've got The Outsiders. You've got something about Mary. Drugstore uh, Cowboy. Uh, although he did do this. Wild movie. Things is great. I love the movie where he was seducing all these... Uh, and uh, uh, a beautiful woman who ended up marrying Wayne Gretzky uh, was in the film. And it's about him and he's seducing all these housewives. Oh, yeah. And it was a great little movie back in its day. Uh, but uh, here is the house that Jack built. Uh, it's just kind of... I, uh, that seems like a spoiler, but uh, it's such a bizarre, bizarre film. It's a very out-there film. It really is out there. And Not for everybody. Some movies promise you uh, hell. This film delivers. Yeah, uh, and of course it's a disturbing uh, movie. Bruno uh, Gans is in the film. He is. Uh, one of his last performances, obviously. Yeah. Although apparently his last performance may have been. Uh, They're saying his last one was in A Hidden Life, the new Terrence Malick right, film that right, I watched. Right, the other right. yeah. Which will put you into a coma, and you will die after you watch A Hidden Life, which is almost a three-hour flick. But uh, this. But I think movie, you should watch the whole thing. I will watch. I it. think you'll be moved by it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I usually am moved by Terrence's films you to are. some extent. It's beautiful. Uh, and usually it's a bowel movement that I have because I'm sitting it's there just for his so movies, long. His movies are very drawn out and breathy, and there's a lot of narration and moving camera work, but I, I love his style. He's a very sweeping This is his longest director. film, though. I, I agree. I agree. Well, The Thin Red Line uh, is, great. is just That was his really, return. I love that film. Me too. You know, he's one of the few guys that will... I, I just love the way he'll... He'll go into silence. When yeah. somebody else will do dialogue, he'll just go into silence and let the, like some of the war scenes in Thin Red Line, oh my God, just incredible. Yeah, yeah I agree. What a great cast. I love those in that moments. Film. Jim Caviezel, I agree. Uh, and there's a lot of big names that got cut out of that film. Really? Uh, Mickey Rourke was cut out of the film. Okay. Um, Bill Pullman was cut out of the film. Huh. And there was a couple other names, too. Interesting. Because Bill Pullman's narration was in the trailer, remember? Oh, it doesn't matter. Interesting. We're rambling. You know, I love this film. I didn't. I don't know if I would actually use it as my as one of my top five, but I put it in there just as a just as a reference point for you, the viewer, as to to simply find something new and unique yeah. that maybe you haven't seen. We did review this probably six, seven a months while ago. ago. Yeah. It's been a while. It was and, probably uh, earlier last year. And we both liked it so much, and yeah. I, I just kind of felt it really that it, got me. It, it needed me a second look, and certainly, a, and it come, by the way, it comes out on video. It comes out on Blu-ray next Tuesday. Even though it's been out it's, all this time. Yeah. It comes out next Tuesday. So it hasn't been available on Blu-ray? No. Just on platforms? Just on platforms. Interesting, I didn't realize. And I don't even know if it's available on that many platforms. It was on a few when we watched uh, was it. Was it? Yeah. Okay, and there is also a director's cut available. Wow, interesting. Uh, and it's a two and a half hour flick to begin you know, with. I, I could be wrong. Uh, it might be just the general cut. It, it's just a long, long, long movie. But... Hey, it's certainly worth watching. I uh, really enjoy not it. Not for everybody. It's not for the. It's not for the. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of women that I would recommend this film to. I have to be honest. It, it's a uh, it kind of. Uh, there's some degradation factors there. I don't know if a woman is going to enjoy this. Well, I mean, he plays a serial killer, and a, a lot of his killer. victims are women. Yeah, we watch Uma Thurman get the crap beat out of her, and like the opening scene. Yeah. You know, he Spoiler. takes a. You know, he takes a wrench and just you know wax her a few times, but. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> and I love the build-up to that when she says, you know, you could be a serial killer. She breaks down on the yeah. side of the road, he picks her up, and of course, and she says, well, you could be a serial killer. I don't know you. And then sure enough, he, he, he kills it. Yeah. But uh, it, it's just it's a, a good film. film. I thought Matt was great in this film. He was great, I agree. It's a shame he can't do a sequel because, you know. I know, he can't. Yeah. But, uh, but it's a good movie. Bad. It is a good film. I Check hope it you, out, The I House That Jack Built. Absolutely. Very good. And this is another poster. By the way, this poster here is not this film. You got the That's, wrong poster. No, here. no, I put it on there specifically just to show people that there is another house that Jack built. Yeah, it's not here the one. It is. This that's Joe Montaigne. Yeah, that's Joe Montaigne right there. Uh, I'm not sure who any of the other people. Here's Freddie Prince uh, playing Prince. Who's that? Right, right. That looks familiar. Yeah, he looks like Jim Carrey a little bit. Yeah. Uh, go back. Let's look at the. Let's look at the things. Yeah. We'll, we'll look at the uh, some of the cast here. Uh, it's too small. Doris Buick, Ian Sears, uh, Megan Mullally. Hal Sparks. That's who that is, I think. Okay. Hal Sparks. All right. No, no, that's Hal Sparks down there. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. put this on just to show. But look, you're invited to a housewarming party from hell. The house wow. that Jack built. Interesting. I just put it up there for the hell of it. That's good. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, why not? All right. Next choice. Let's go. Chris is number three. My, uh, this should be five, four, three. Yeah. Okay. Third choice is Uncut Gems. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, you know, course, this might be my fourth. I think this is uh, not a right pick. 
I, I almost was going to pick this, but yeah, I like wasn't this. this nominated for anything? Not in the Oscars. Not well, in the Oscars. I guess it wasn't. This was know, completely I, overlooked. I kind of. It might be a screenplay, maybe, but I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, I think so, too, and that's why I stayed away from it. Yeah. I would have put this in. Yeah, and I, the main thing for me to put this in is, is all about Adam's performance. Well, Adam blows Amazing. The, it's a good film regardless. He is a star. But he is the movie. Yeah. It's a great, great performance. It's a nerve a nerve wrangling film you're the whole movie you're just like tense because there's it, always problems it, and things happening well, there's always it's some, so good it, and it's just uncomfortable to watch this it thing. is the whole it's thing it's uncomfortable to yeah. watch him he's just a guy who just wants to self-annihilate himself he does we just reviewed this film literally a month ago so a month ago roughly I kind of didn't want to put it in because I felt it was in that category so I didn't it's but, all right, uh, but I, I wanted to include right. it because I really enjoyed okay. this film. It's a great movie, though, no question. And Daniel Day Lewis actually called uh, Adam up and he told did. him what a brilliant performance he gave, he how, how movie yeah. was, and that that certainly I love this. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of little things that that Adam does. He's a very brilliant guy, and you just don't really great see job. that in you know in. Uh, uh, the Coach Three, or you know, uh, adults, or whatever the stupid movies. Grown ups, all those comedies. Yeah. One of my very good friends, his favorite film of all time is Little Nicky, uh, which Weird. is about the devil. Uh, I, I I couldn't finish so that stupid. film, but it was on just years horrifying. ago. But you, you know, know, I just noticed about the font, the white font. What does it remind you of? The Godfather. Yeah, yeah. Little the Godfather. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, we're just missing that the the the, the little the, the marionette. marionette. Yeah, the I wonder if that's almost like I a subtle be. reference. Yeah, maybe so. Because his character is a journey, you know. It's a great poster, though. Yeah, I like simple. The, I, like the, I like the dirty Me too. aspect here. Yeah. And there's Check out Don't Cut Gems. Again, it's, out, it's in theaters. It'll be on Netflix uh, fairly soon, I think. And quite simply, the film is itself an uncut gem. It is. It's just a great little raw it really piece of, of two hours of raw footage. It's great. Of watching a guy just self-destruct himself into into annihilation. Yeah. And it's just that's that's it in a nutshell. It's yeah. really brilliant little piece of work. I, I agree. I gotta say, I really recommend it. Yeah, I loved it, it, loved it, loved it. Yeah. All right, your next choice, number uh, four. This is four for yeah, you. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, yes, you do. Do I? Sure. Oh, oh, Midsummer. 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 Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a good film. Very this disturbing film. film. Very disturbing. We have uh, everybody. Florence Pugh is in this film. Everybody here she seems is. to really. I think here she is as a cat. <laughs> no, what? she's not really oh, a cat. That's cat. Somebody did that. That's not a real picture. Yeah, I know. That somebody did a little thing. You gotta have better discretion to get your picture. No, 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 no. I like putting these pictures in because that was Florence Pugh right there. It was, but that There's wasn't Florence. from the film. Those cats in. The, with well, her. it was somebody with Francesca no, it Hayward. It was from the film, but somebody put the little cat, uh, in, in, you know, uh, the cat. The, put the whole face they put in. They put the whole that face. That was Francesca Hayward. There you go. But this is a very good oh, film. Oh, this is one of the most disturbing films that you, you will love see this in your life. I agree. You know, I didn't like this film. I saw this in the theater. Really? You were even about it. I, I, you were I, unsettled. I was unsettled, but it's two and a half hours it's long. long. Uh, this particular scene here is just horrifying. Yeah. I mean, there, there is so much about this film that is so disturbing. This truly is uh, the Burning Man, the Wicker Man, yeah. whatever you want to call it. It's a sacrifice kind of a movie. Uh, it's just so strange. Strange and so bizarre. Here she is, right out of the the realms of, of Little Women. Florence Pugh. Uh, Florence Pugh. She's she went wonderful. She, she finished this film and then immediately jumped right into doing Little Women. Did she? She used that. She said that movie, Little Women, was like therapy for her after this. Oh movie. wow, I believe it. Yeah. Uh, this had to be a tough film to make. I'm sure. I, 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 I'm just blown away. Emotion. But there was a wall uh, all the mirror, over. Yes, there's, yes, yes. there's 20 walls. Yeah. Not 20. There, there's probably like 10 of them, and uh, and on each wall there are clues to what, why they're there. I mean, people are kind of, go to this this retreat, uh, young in kids. Sweden. Right, they go to Sweden, uh, they have a friend back in New York, he says, oh, come on, come with me to Sweden. We will go it's like the summer like, solstice uh, party is what it right, is. Right, exactly. And we're going to have this big spring thing happen all the time. It happens every year or once every 10 years. I forgot it's, what the uh, Yeah, Yeah, every once every, I think it's every, once every like 70 years or something like that. No, it can't be 70 It's years. a long number. It's something like that. Is it? Not, maybe not 70, but it's well, many, many decades. Yeah. But, but this is how you will look at the end of this film. This particular expression will be on your yeah. face uh, after you watch this movie. It, it is so disturbing. Um, I was in the theater with some uh, young women, I do recall, and they were just uh, 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 visibly upset 
And when this film was understandable, was old. and rightfully so, it, it's it's an upsetting film. Yeah, check out Midsummer. Uh, Very good film. It, it's it's a it, it's a horror film. It no is. question it's about big it. Big time. It is a horror film. Yeah. And what else? This is the guy who did this guy who did Hereditary. Hereditary, correct. This Another, is a far superior film. I feel. I, yeah. I like Hereditary, but uh, I like this better. Uh, do you? Yeah. Okay. okay. You know why Hereditary had a lot of hype behind it, and I felt like all right. I mean, it's got some creepy things going on. A couple surprises. Yeah. But I found this to be more horrifying. Even the well, opening, this was the first more, ten minutes of this movie are horrifying. This was simple. This was a yeah. simple film where Hereditary was gimmicky. Uh, it had had some great little moments in it. Uh, some surprises. Uh, characters die that you don't necessarily yeah. think are going to. Uh, but I, I still like Hereditary quite a bit. I do. And uh, who was our who was our male lead in that? That was film? Uh, Gabriel Byrne. Oh uh, yeah, he was. And we great. had Tony Collette. Tony Collette, Excellent. wonderful. And this, this, but this film is so creepy. It just is. look at this scene right here. It's almost like she's walking the gauntlet here. Yeah, it, it's just it's, it's a, a memorable movie. To it, say it's least. a very tough film to watch, but uh, I wholeheartedly recommend it. Yeah. And, uh, I've only seen it once. There is a, now a director's cut that is three hours long, as opposed to the two and a half hour uh, cut of the the normal theatrical mm -hmm. release. But uh, I will be watching the director's cut very shortly. Cool. Sounds good. Let us move Let's on. Let's move to on here. This is number five, I believe. Uh, correct. Yeah. It is. You want, take a guess. What do you think it might be? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's too wide a I know. It's ballpark. Tough. Okay. Go ahead. Hotel Mumbai. Oh, there you go. Love this movie. Oh, that's a great movie. Loved, loved, loved this movie. Yeah, yeah. It really was a fantastic thriller. It was exciting it true was story. horrifying true story true story about a bunch of uh is, is islamic extremists that took over the famous taj hotel in india right. uh in mumbai the, the hotel mumbai, mumbai. it yeah, happened in 2008 be Bombay. No, and there was mumbai. a crisis yes uh where a bunch of people were held hostage in a hotel basically and many people died and a lot of people uh didn't even know they were being hostage they were At just first. staying in yeah. rooms because yeah. they had, they knew that there was a whole terrorist regime that had taken up and people were just being shot on sight yeah and it's yeah. a it's a really uh a massively, really this is a crazy a, movie it's a horror film it's a terrorist film yes it's, it's all of the very above. exciting there is a woman who works at my post office and she is an indian lady in fact i just spoke to her today uh her name is mina and uh, i said to her so you're going back to india this year because she goes every january and she's gone and uh, so she said, no, I cannot go. My husband, he's having uh, eye sur cataract surgery. We must stay here. But, uh, and I said, but are you going to go be back to India some other time this year? She said, oh, no, it is too hot in India. You cannot go there now. So I'm just thinking, wow, global warming is uh, Well, also, their seasons are a little opposite. I believe that they're having their winter now. They're, they're having their summer well, now. That's very possible. we have our winter. But that's when she goes. She always yeah. goes in January. I would, but you're probably well, right. Uh, she, you know, I recommended why not go later. And she said, no, too hot. So Yeah, but like in Brazil, for example, film. they're having their they're having their. You know who stood out summer. for me in this film, believe it or not, was Army Hammer. Army Hammer was very good. I thought he was great yeah. in this. It's a great film. It really is. Uh, the a star great is Dev Patel, who you will remember from many films, and yeah. most notably Slime Dog Millionaire, Lion. Lion. Yeah, he was great. Uh, it's, everything it's a he's wonderful in. film. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Love this movie. You know, and he and Adam Driver should do a film together, I think, because. I know, you always say they're very like, similar. I don't see I, it at all. Oh, I do. I don't see it at all. I one think bit. that they could kind of alternate. No way. I think they could alternate uh, characters. I think that. Dev could play, uh, you know... Uh, Dev Patel, I think he's a more he handsome person a, than Adam Driver. Uh, possibly I so. I think he is. I think he... Is he as good an actor as Adam? Probably not. Well, I, I don't know if he's been given the opportunity to. Very possibly. In everything he's done, I found him to be good. I did love that, the, those those the, those restaurant movies. He did the two of those restaurants. Oh, yeah. I, I only saw the first one. Oh, they were great. Uh, Marigold Hotel. Marigold Hotel. That was good. Yeah, Helen yeah. Mirren. Uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, I really enjoyed that uh, one. They were wonderful. And then there's the other one well, the think, second one is great too and i want to see that yeah yeah and um was he in the one no he wasn't in it the one with um helen mirren where they build a restaurant across the street from her and she's fighting oh no, that's the, that's it that's marigold hotel that's marigold hotel no 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 that's no, no, no. you're thinking of another hotel yeah. i'm talking about no the, but i know the marigold that you're talking about okay the marigold the old, hotel the is that, nice. in that? Yeah, yeah yeah that's another no wait a minute marigold yeah, hotel sure. has two films I'm thinking of a different movie. It's like 100 feet away or right. whatever. Right. Yeah, different movie. It, there are I, two of those. No, there's only one of those. No, there's two, two Marigolds, of those. only one of the one I'm thinking of. 
correct. Two Marigold Hotels. You are correct. There's two of those. The movie I'm thinking about. And did Helen tell us in Marigolds? I, that's it. No, he's in both Marigolds. I well, don't then remember. it's about the restaurant. Uh, 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 no, it's about a hotel. Oh, but there's just, another one. That, that's a oh, separate okay, okay. thing. Yeah, but I don't know if that's. No, I was just wondering. I couldn't remember if that was I him in that know. or not. Why don't they have their facts straight on this day? Because well, we didn't expect to bring it up. Well, I'm bringing it up because I want to know. Regardless, I like that. If I cannot know, I cannot see. Then I cannot see, I cannot know. I'll tell you if I do not know, I will not see. About. If I do not see, I cannot know. That was an okay accent. What are you talking about? That was a good accent. I used to do wonderfully that accent. It's my okay. one of my old girlfriends married an Indian guy, so really, yeah, and she was divorcing him. So every time I talked to her, I was giving her, you know, marriage advice. Like, yeah, that's what that's what I'm supposed to do is give somebody, you know, divorce advice. But every True. time I would talk to her, I would talk to her like, oh come on, listen, your husband can get a job at the gas station, or he could get a job at Seven Eleven pumping Slurpees. Okay, it was uh, yeah, I'm mistaken. It was not Dev Patel that was in that other movie oh. with Helen Mirren about the restaurant across the street. Who's That's that called the Hundred Foot Journey. Right. I knew it was something with distance. No, there's only one. There's two Marigold hotels. Oh fuck. That's Christ what there's two. And what's the movie that uh, that Ray Fiennes was in? That Wes Anderson film. The that's the other That's hotel. the best exotic Budapest hotel. Oh, there you go. Different yeah, thing. we got a lot of hotels going We do. Right, let's move check on. out Hotel Mumbai. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. It's a, it's a scary little film. It, is. it will have you on the edge of your seat. No kidding. All right, you will, Darryl, not, want to, you will not want to drop your popcorn for a Darryl's minute. Daryl's last film. Daryl's last film. Let's see what it could possibly be. Wait, hang on. Movie number five. Well, look. It's oh! The professor! You are so full of shit. You're like, oh, I forgot I, about that film. I tell you, what you're, a great movie. You're good. I love it. I'm happy you remembered it. it also. It's such a great it's film. It's a great film. And let me tell you this. What's this with Roger Moore? That's the professor from, no, that's the professor from Gillian Ginza. Oh, you're right. You're I right. put him on there because yeah, yeah, he's professor. also a professor. Funny. I don't know why I'm continuing to do the Indian accent, but I don't care. But this is a but great Johnny, film. But Johnny, he's so great in this movie. I mean, th love this it. is just Johnny that he always should have grown up to be. Yeah. He basically has become Richard Burton in, in this film and, and kind of a wonderful way. She's wonderful. I love Zoe Deutsch. She's, she's great. Dynamite and everything she's I in. I agree. Uh, she's just a sweetheart. She's cute. I'm glad you, you picked just it. Wanna, mm, and it, here is the Italian. Arrivederci, professor. Look, it's an Andalizio, a fresco de vita real. Nice. One thing about this film is, it was, believe it or not, on most people's worst list. This film also, That's yesterday, shame. yesterday was like number one on everyone's list. Of worst? Yesterday. Worst list. Why? You it's a wonderful every worst movie. list out there. I hate that. I, I hate people. Well. It's a wonderful film. Um, yesterday. Uh, you liked great. it. I, I thought it was okay. You went into it wanting to not like it, but you liked I it. I did watch it again at home here. I did see it again at home. It does, you know, if you like the Beatles, you'll, you you can't yeah. help but like the film. Cool. It's it's a kind of a cool I thing. I was always going to do more honorable mentions, but I'm like, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, so that was good. There you go. Um, that was a good fake out for me. That was really good. What's I this know. Here? Oh, we did that. Okay. We did that. Okay, now we're going to go to... Now, let's pause for a minute and let's talk about the worst films. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, there's Chris and my worst picks for 2019. Yes. Take it, Chris. Okay. Let's start with uh, Chris first. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to start at number one. Right here, right or here. Number ten. And we'll go down to nine. Well, right, I'm, doing, I'm doing my fifth worst... Counting okay. downwards to the one worst. And one for me, I don't give a damn. Yeah, yours aren't a particular. No, they don't matter. Okay. Worst is worst. So for me, the fifth worst film of Which last is not year, the worst, but no, fifth from the worst. But it's worst fifth film. from the worst. Okay. For me, was Glass. Oh. The long awaited sequel to <sighs> Unbreakable and Sixth Sense. Horrible. I thing. felt that this film was a complete, boring, missed opportunity. Um, I was very disappointed. After all well, these years, this is what we get. Very disappointing. And the bad part is, and the sad part is, is that Split was such a great Such film. a great, and a great surprise. And I loved it. Well, James McAvoy was the film. Yeah, and I Split. think M. Night Dickhead, I think he basically saw what he had in, I, I think that film may have been written while it was being made, because I think James just took that role to such a height that it, and I, it was just great. He's got these girls imprisoned, uh, you know, and he's yeah. just coming there and then he turns into the the beast mm -hmm. uh, wonderful thing we got bruce willis sitting at a bar watching the whole thing that was such a cool twist uh, it was yeah. you know now unbreakable 
not one of my favorite films ever. I, uh, I, think, I like Unbreakable. I think you do. I ain't just not one of my favorite films ever, oh, but I enjoy that film. Was, you know, M. it's Night. one. It's probably one of the <clears throat> three M Night movies that I think are my favorite. I like that. I like Sixth Sense. And I love Signs. I love Signs. Signs might be is my favorite of his. Signs is a great little it film. It is. I know you love it's Sixth Sense. Film. I love The Sixth Sense. It's one of the best horror films ever made. Yeah. It's six horror films in one. Yeah. It's like The Dead Zone. Yeah. Uh, the Stephen King, Christopher, Christopher Walken film. Mm -hmm. And it's just great because we have all these little instances of horror. Uh, there's so many memorable ones in, in Sixth Sense. Oh, my God. But, yeah. you know, M. Night, uh, you know, and he made that film called uh, uh, The Grandparents. The, the one about the grandparents. Oh, you know, I still haven't seen that one. The, the Visitor. Visit. The, the visit. visit. The visit. The visit. Yeah. Uh, and of course, he did one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life, The Happening. Uh, Happening was crap. Oh, that was just didn't care for that. Awful. Lady in the Water wasn't uh, great. Lady in the Water, uh, one you know? of the worst films ever made in the history. What about The Village? Oh God, horrible. And the thing about The Village is that it was marketed as something totally different than it was. Well, you know, and the very village, disappointing. The regardless. Village kind of metamorphosized into uh, Midsummer, if you will. Kind you of. You know, had the same kind similar. of vibe to it. Uh, and you kind of felt that something was heading there in the village. But no, the village was, they just crossed over a boundary and now they were in regular habitated society. No, I and, you know, And you think that this is all happening back in the 1700s. That's what they you think, yeah. And then suddenly, oh no, here's a guy at 7-Eleven having a Slurpee. It's annoying. But boy, uh, you know, Glass is such a piece of crap. It's a shame. I wouldn't be surprised if I put this on my list too. This film really could have been something great. It could have been something great. And I think, you know, I think that might have been the problem was that he tried to uh, integrate, you know, uh, a split, okay, I understand. But to, to, to take that unbreakable thing, which to me makes no sense at all. A guy's in, you know, he happens to be Superman. Uh, every time there's a plane crash, there's a there's a subway, Well, he just survived crash. the one train, train accident. Oh, did he? I thought he survived no. a whole bunch of stuff. No, no, he just, no, when he survived, when he was the only survivor of a catastrophic train crash... Oh. He realizes, he starts thinking about it, why me? And then he realizes, I've never been hurt, I've never been sick. And then that's, he just suddenly realizes that he's, yeah. he's got these extra And abilities. I suddenly realized, what a crock of shit is this. I still stuff. liked Unbreakable. I, I, the only thing I did like, there's a serial killer section yeah. with Bruce Willis yes. where he... Well, he becomes uh, a crime fighter. Yeah, he becomes a crime fighter yeah. and there's a great scene where he overtakes the serial killer yeah. in the swimming pool. That was a cool scene. A wonderful But then stuff. we find out Water's like his one weakness. I, I, I'll just bullshit. Silly. Water's his weakness. Give there's another swim. M. Night Shyamalan. Let's move on. You know, he's and, hit or miss. And he time. likes to be in all of his films and as soon as That's annoying. Too. As soon as he shows up, annoying is not the word. It's true. You just want to suffocate him with a plastic bag so he can never be in another film. And then he did, what, The Last Starfighter? Or what, what are the no, Last Airbender. Last Airbender, yeah, yeah. That and was, that was just a director for hire game. The gush of fart juice that wasn't great either. Uh, emitting from his anus called The Last Airbender. Exactly. So let's move on to your okay, my, choice. My number five is... Is, is over here... Oh, what a coincidence. Well, look, it's, it's glass. glass. Well, let's talk about glass just for a moment, shall we? For, for a maybe a, an extended moment. Uh, really, there's nothing to say. It sucks. We've all said it. The movie sucks. Donkey it's a shame. Wazoo. It's just horrible. Uh, much better been posters. Whoever made But these posters are. Now, that really is cool. But look at Sam as a young guy over there. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I like all this. Uh, who's the oh? I I forgot she was in this film. She was in the second one. Uh, yeah, 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 the new yeah. one. The new one. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, she's lost awesome everything. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, her girlfriend is Charlie Sheen's mom on Two and a Half Men. Oh, really? Yeah, that's uh, Sarah. Per uh, 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 what's her last name? Sarah. Uh, I haven't watched that show, so I don't hear. No, name. no, no. You know Sarah though. She was in the. She's been in uh, um, uh, the horror, uh, uh, the, uh, the horror television show. Uh, that 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 that's Lady Gaga was in it. Uh, oh, American Horror Story. American Horror oh, Story. Oh, her? You talking about her? Sarah. Yes. What the hell is her last? Paulson. Name? Paul. Paulson. Paulson. Sarah Paulson. Yeah. Right. right. No, I thought you were saying though that the other woman, her girlfriend's name was Sarah. That's what no, 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 no. Sarah. No, this is Sarah Paulson. We know her. Yeah, Sarah Paulson's girlfriend uh, played the mom okay. on Two and a Half Men. Oh, okay. A much older lady. Yeah, okay. she's uh, she's a Good lesbian lady. So let's move on. All right, let's move on. Piece of shit. Yeah, piece of shit. That's Sorry. Right. Just garbage. What here? Trash. Junk. Manure. Oh, okay. Daryl, number four. I got confused. Well, you, you're number one. four now. I am. Number four worst is MIB International, not a okay. great film. No, you know, I didn't mind this film. I, you know what it is about this is that I just don't care. I'm burnt out, I don't care. Yeah. I didn't care. 
seen it all. Good job. They all tried their best, but I'm just bored. I'll tell you something. Bored with this movie. Watch this Whole film franchise. again. Watch this film again. I got the 4K disc. I watched it in full glory here in my exclusively magnificent OLED television yes. with my 11 speakers, my two my two subwoofers over here, my magnificent sound uh, that, of course, you poor folks will never hear through this mini tiny speaker on That's your true. phone that you're watching this horrible show on. But I'll tell you something. I love... Uh, oh, I like the cast. I like Tessa. I, like Tessa. I, I love, thought Chris was uh, good. I love Chris. I love uh, Liam. Uh, Liam's okay. But, but I just felt this was a waste. It's really a fun little movie, though. It's and, okay. And, and, and I tell you, I enjoyed it far more the second time than I did yeah. in, the, in the theater. In the theater, I really didn't like it at all. Yeah, I didn't love it. But it just feels like almost like a Marvel movie, you know, it kind of goes from scene to scene. Well, to they were scene trying scene. really hard to and reinvent our this wonderful whole thing. Rebecca, what's her name from uh, it too? Not it, but uh, uh, Doctor Sleep is in it. Rebecca Hall is that Rebecca Hall? No, 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 no. no. That's you're, no, you're Rebecca. Thinking, uh, that's um, no Rebecca Ferguson. Ferguson. She's uh, in I this. Love her. Yeah, yeah, she was in Life. And then we have a nice. Um, Kumail Nanjiani does a voice in this as well. Oh, right, he does the little... I mean, it's got some things in it that I, are amusing, I, but... I thought this was amusing. I, I almost put... It was on all the best, the worst lists of 2019, but I, I found it yeah. amusing. Yeah. You, you find, I didn't hate a lot of movies from last year. I just didn't... I was thinking about this movie no, since enough. I've seen it. Fair enough. And I'm just like, I got nothing. No, I didn't. I got no uh, lasting affection at all okay. from this. Like 1917 for me. For you, exactly. Yeah, which is a worthless piece so of So move garbage. on to your next thing. Okay. Um, Daryl's next choice for worst, worst film of the year is oh wow Terminator Dark Fate. Oh film. God, I hated this. Film. Yeah, you didn't care for. Oh, this. I hated this a lot. I considered it, but I like you know what I enjoyed it. I, well, it's a guilty go. pleasure. I found it just boring. It was fun. And horrible, and uh, and I know producer James Cameron was involved. Here's uh, Arnold doing his California yeah. uh, little viewfinder there. He's he's unfortunately he's watching Kobe's uh, helicopter go down. Oof. Horrible photographs they put uh, on. Uh, I haven't seen them. Oh my god! I saw the helicopter, like the wreckage footage. I didn't see anything yeah, else. Yeah, well now they have a new footage. Uh, yeah, uh, and hats are uh, are sincere. My sincere Very condolences sad. and Chris's. I'm sure for uh, the family of uh, Kobe. Yeah. Uh, who died uh, yesterday? Do you want to do a moment of silence for him? I, it's not necessary. I don't okay. believe. I, I was. I was not. I'm never. That's pretty a, cool. A big uh, sports fan. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not a big, big sports big, guy at all. Big, big. Yeah, it, it, it is but it's sad guy. when you see people die young. Absolutely, He's especially when there's orders with him and, and I, these course, other people. I was trying to insist encouraged. that you know when you said that you were also 41. I was hoping that you know it's too bad we couldn't substitute you. You said that to me in the text into yes. that into the death sequence exactly there, and, and let Kobe live. No, I'm better than uh, him. But uh, but you're still here. I'm Kobe's still here. gone. But uh, anyway, uh, Linda's good in this. Linda Hamilton. She's. Fine. I thought what's your name was great in this movie. Yeah. Um, Mackenzie Davis. By the way, here she is with no makeup. And, yes. Uh, and you have to admit that you know she's not looking really great. Uh, you know, she, there's a show that I do watch though, uh, and it's called uh, Lost Girl, and it's uh, and she shows up. Oh. She's she's in that show quite a bit. It's just a little Netflix series. Yeah. Uh, it used to be on some other channel, and they True it up. TV or some bullshit. But yeah, they picked it up and uh, it it ended as of 2015. But Linda actually has quite a few uh, scenes in there. She's like this this mother god. Um, it involves the fae, the light fae, and the dark oh, okay, fae. yeah. But there's a whole scene here in the center. Now this our blonde chick, Mackenzie Davis. I just she's I loved her. Yeah, in this. She, she's I thought she's she was very excellent. good in this. I agree. Film. I have to agree. Yeah. But there's a scene there when they finally go to Arnold's place. Yeah. And Linda's angry at him, of course. But boy, the film just kind of, it's like the film just stopped and took a dump right into your popcorn bowl as you're watching it. That, that just all of a sudden nothing happens for like the next I enjoyed 35, scenes, 40 minutes. It's not that long. Oh, it's hard. It's no, it is. Minutes. No, it's more like I'm going to say 20 minutes. I, it's not. It's not. It's not a half. Thirty-five minutes, as I say, but it felt like an hour to me. Yeah. Uh, God, it was horrible, and it was just her. Well, oh, I hate you, and I don't hate you, but I understand. But what doesn't make man. sense about that cares. is that by the end of Terminator Two, and this is supposed to be a direct sequel. She and him become friends. So suddenly now, all these years later, oh no, that's different. Though there's a reason why she hates him. Right. That's right, because it was sent, that's right. Because they sent the same machine that looks like him again to kill John. That's to right. kill John that we that's see right. at the beginning that's right. that's of this right. film. So her hatred was reinvigorated. And that. John, that's of course, right. is played by, what's his Edward name? Edward Furlong. Edward Furlong, who, you know, what, what has he done? 
Nothing living. Nothing. No, he, he's wasted he away. He hasn't been in anything. Uh, was he in anything? He was actually in a horror film. No, he's probably working in like the of fringes. the creepy crawlies or some bullshit. Yeah. But he was actually in a yeah. horror film. He, you know, he wasn't a bad actor. No, he was fine. He was decent in... Terminator 2. Terminator, yeah. I, I happen to love Terminator 2. Me too. Really that was that my film. favorite movie as a kid for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Let's move on? Absolutely. All right. Next choice is... Is it movie two already? We're almost down. Okay. The whole show's almost down. The one. Dead Don't Die. Oh, this is a piece Jim of... Jarmus. Oh, I, I don't even want to spend time on this. I'm going to say, no, this no, movie no. is a turd. This movie it's terrible. is god awful. It's boring. It's I'm not sorry, funny. I'm sorry I forgot to Great the, cast. Know, I'm sorry I forgot to use this. Because yeah. this is a perfect bad, it's a bad turd. film. Could have been great, but I, it wasn't. Uh, you know, Jim Jarmusch, the, the man is just... I think he's brain dead. I think, honestly, the only film of his... There's two that I actually really liked. I liked Ghost Dog back in the day when it came out. Okay. And I really liked Only Lovers Left Alive. It's a vampire oh, love, love story. Only well, that's Tilda Swinton, Tilda Swinton is in and it. Tom Hiddleston. Okay. And he also Great. did a movie. Uh, he did that movie with uh, Johnny Depp. And it was... Uh, the Dead Man? Yeah. I haven't seen that one. Uh, it's it's a Western, bad. right? It's kind of a Western, but it's it's a black and white film. I'd like film. to see that, It has that, a cool yeah. look. He also did a movie with Tom Waits. Uh, he did a few, I think. Uh, well, I, I know he did the one big one. Uh, and, yeah. And it escapes me. They're in prison. And, uh, oh, God. And it's on Criteria, believe it or yeah. not. It's a big hit. Uh, name escapes me right off the bat. Gee, I have the Dead, uh, dead Under... I don't know what it is. Dead Unto Water, I keep wanting to say, but no, it's, it's not. A, I don't remember the title. It'll come to you. It will eventually. But this movie's... But this movie is god awful. It's donkey shit. You know, it could have been a good... It could have been. It could have been a good It's little, got a great cast. You know, uh, they could have gone into uh, Double Tap, uh, you know, Zombie Land. Yeah. Uh, or, or something like that. But it Just uh, wasn't good. A lot of people like him and want to work with him, so you got yeah. Bill Murray, totally yeah, wasted. Interesting. Tilda Swinton, totally wasted. Close to that. Great. Adam Driver, everybody totally I wasted. I know, him. And totally. And Tom in this. Yeah. We last saw Tom actually just in that uh, that new Coen Brothers film. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs on uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah, that's a great little film. It's a good film. And it's a series of about it six little, little vignettes. vignettes. Yeah. It's a great little film. I love the one that with, was cool. uh, uh, Liam Neeson. That was the best actually. one for me. That was the best one. Yeah. Very good. All right, let's Very move on. Stuff. Okay. Um, okay. So my Daryl number again. three or 18 or whatever it is. Here we go. It's funny. I... Thought about this movie oh, this after I already so finished my bad. list. It's not, so I enjoyed bad. it a little bit. Well, oh, this film it was I, okay. This film actually starts out to be a fairly decent mystery, and then all of a sudden, Matthew McConaughey, hey hey, starts looking at uh, I don't know. He starts to dream and imagine that this is all taking place in a video game in some kind of virtual reality thing, and then suddenly the whole film just falls apart. It's just bullshit. Total absolute. Well, it's his crap. son. Who is yeah, his son is watching. I put this on because this is what serenity should be. Yes. A state of quality being serene, calm, tranquil. But no, this film is anything but. What a piece of junk this film is. It had some things I, I that I liked it. about it. I liked it a little better than you did. This was an Anne's year. Let, let's be quite no. honest. I mean, you Well, know. she did this. She did The Hustle. Uh, she did was The okay. Hustle, which is another piece Not of great. crap. Not I great. almost put that on my list. I considered it, list. but I didn't hate it But enough. it had Rebel Wilson in it. And yeah, I, I she can't give, a little bit. I can't give a thumbs down to Rebel Wilson because I really like her. Me too. She's lost a lot of weight right now. Yeah. She's on a new diet. But, Good. Uh, but this movie sucks so bad. It's not a film I watch again. It actually starts out as a good little mystery. Yeah. It's a little film noir. It kind of almost has a body heat vibe to it. A little it. bit, a little bit. You know, it's like, I want you to kill my husband kind of thing. It's the same deal. Yeah. She wants Matthew to kill her husband and I'll... I'll and Matthew's her ex-husband. Correct. So, and Matthew's just playing his usual beach bum kind of guy that he played in Beach Bum. Beach Bum was great. Very, very I really liked I that. liked Beach Bum, too. Me too. I, I almost wanted to put it on my best of, but it just didn't... No, it didn't make the cut. Didn't kind of make the cut. No. It really wasn't a best of. And here you have uh, Mark, what's his face? Clark, Jason Clark. Jason Clark, rather. Uh, I, I the, love him, too. As the, as there was one he's article... The, he's the bad husband. Yeah, as the one article I read about it, they call him the go-to cuckold. No, you go. He's always like that guy that's well, put you upon. know, he was in Pet Cemetery, the new remake. This year uh, he had three. He had this Pet Cemetery. He had Aftermath, that good World War II film with oh, Keira Knightley. I, oh, I like that like quite that a bit. And he also Me did. Too. I think that was from last year. He did that film Winchester. Yes, uh, that was that was okay. The Winchester was House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. That was the year. Well, it was before. a haunted uh, house yeah. film. But, but it was I, the I Winchester it. House. The people Correct. who made the gun. People who made the Winchester gun that are supposed. No, he's a good actor. He's haunted by people who had Chuck Quiddick. Well, that was the year before well, as yes, well. Yes, and uh, let me uh, say this. He was very good in, in uh, Japa quitting. He was. Sure enough. Should we move on? I think we can. Okay. Well, my, uh, I guess we're up to my worst film of the year. Okay. 
Um, can you guess what it is? Um, I can't. No? Okay, let's go. The oh, man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. Uh, you know, I'm surprised you put this on because, as I recall, you kind of liked this I kind of liked it back when we first yeah, watched it. When we and I've given it, it a lot of and thought. <laughs> and I realized that, you know what, though? Nothing really stayed with me with this film. Well, well, and I think a, it was... It's a piece of junk. It's not great And here all. he is, direct from the Beverly Hills Cop uh, <laughs> uh, concession stand at the hotel. I mean, he's the Larry concierge. Miller. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, this movie just sucks. Huh? Waste, waste, waste of uh, Sam Elliott. Horrible, horrible. You hated it. This movie. Horrible, horrible film. Yeah. And I like Sam, of Me course. Too. I love Sam. Who doesn't like Sam Elliott? The man's brilliant. He's great. He was great in uh, uh, Star, uh, is Star is Born. Oh fantastic. my God. He's fantastic. Uh, but this movie's just ridiculous. Oh, he um, made this. And the title alone tells you it's a piece of crap. Yeah. I mean, it's. But see, just, I actually like the title. It's just so ridiculous. Yeah, it's such a B fodder. It is. Big it time. really is. It's just I, a B like film. Like we said when we reviewed it, the whole budget went to getting Sam. You know? Yeah. Let's say that again. The whole budget of the film oh, went to absolutely. getting him. Well, I hated it from the start. I know you did. I, I, I hated it right off the bat. Well, it was very cheesy production value. I mean, he value. kills Hitler, and then suddenly he's on a mountaintop, and there's Bigfoot. And the Bigfoot costume is embarrassing. Horrible. It's awful. Horrible. Is it the word? I mean, come on, oh, guys. My God, that looks like one of our bits. It looks like something from, like, Land of the Lost One of TV our show. bits yeah, that we did. Yeah, of. you know, that's how bad it looked. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I forgot his name. What is his name? Larry Miller. Larry Miller, yeah. of course. I, is he still we alive? We have Ron Livingston. And of course, as you know, Larry Miller's face caught on fire and they had to put it out with an ice pick. Yeah. Uh, the poor guy. <laughs> I mean, geez. Bad acne, huh? Look at him. Yeah. No, he's not a bad actor. No, I said bad acne. Oh, bad. That's what that is. That That's, is yeah. Him and James Woods, oh, no, Robert no. Davi, they were famous for their bad Very acne. true. Edward James almost. Him too. Oh, my God. Crippling. Crazy All these face. guys. Yeah. yeah. Is Edward still alive or did he he's pass alive. away? Is he? Oh, yeah. I know he was the... He was just in Blade Runner. Well, he was in... Was he in the new Blade Runner? Briefly. I know he was in the original. No, he was he in was the new the one. guy who Briefly. made those little... He has a little cameo. Yeah, he did He's the, in there. Oh, did he? Oh, no, okay. he's still alive. Okay. Yeah. At least uh, unless, unless he checked. As of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless, unless he checked, he was still alive. So let's move on. We, we don't need to linger on. on this movie. Okay. Your worst film of the year. I have no idea what okay. it Okay, well, here we go. I wonder if it's the same movie. No. Okay. Here she is, Melanie Laurent. I love her. What's the film? I didn't see this film. You didn't? No. Because I love Horrible her. Horrible piece of junk. Yeah. Michael Bay film. There's Michael. Oh, Six Underground? You got it. Oh, yeah, you hated this movie. I hated it. I didn't this watch film. it because you told me not to bother. It was so bad. It was so wow, bad. Wow, okay. And Ryan Reynolds. I love Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I know you do. I mean, he's funny. He's always funny, but. Uh, it must be really bad for you to put it on number one. I did. Well, no, I, this, as I say, there oh, that's was right. no... That's right. There was I no forgot. Five to There's one no here. set order. Now, this, I, I, I think, probably of my five films. But I love this woman. She's wonderful. Oh, my God. Yeah. That I one film she made with Ewan McGregor. I know. I always want to call it Numbers. No, it's, it's called... Um, it's a one name Beginners. Title. Beginners. Great oh, film. God, I just, Christopher I mean, Plummer, Ewan McGregor, check it out. Lovely. It's like four or five years old. Here's, here's the luckiest uh, man in the world right here. Yeah. And look at this beautiful woman that yes. he's married to. Here's your guide to the cast of Six Underground. What a piece of junk. But I'll tell you, I just love Melanie. Uh, it, it was the only real saving grace of this film. You yeah. can see Melanie, of course, in uh, in Beginners with Christopher Plummer, one of the best supporting actor. Yeah. Oscar for that, yeah. that film. And also she is in uh, Inglorious Bastards. Not She's really. wonderful. I love She's her. She's wonderful. And a lovely woman. And oh, God. She but the only her. shining light in a turd, huh? She... she yeah, it's just forgive me as I as I as throw up in my mouth, uh, you know, due to uh, very apropos. Yeah, there you go. Very All right, good let's stuff. move on. Let us move. So now we're just gonna do the quick little thing we do at the end. I'm literally gonna fly through this because we we're almost at an hour here. Just what's opening. Are we? Yep, just what's on video, new stuff on video as of today. And I covered a couple other things that were okay. available last week since we were down. Sure. Um, just Terminator came out, uh, okay. as we've already discussed. Yeah, who cares? Uh, we have Harriet is Love officially film. on Blu-ray. Beautiful movie. It's a wonderful little you know, film. It, it's a little too condensed for me. I could really go for a three-hour cut. Yeah, because it's somebody's whole life just condensed felt, into two it hours. Just felt yeah. too rushed. And it too, was a little rushed. Yeah, but a great performance. Yeah, up for the Oscar for oh, actress. No, she's wonderful. Um, she's really great. Uh, Motherless Brooklyn is officially out, as we've already okay. discussed. Wonderful film. Uh, Parasite is officially out on Blu-ray. There you go. A very good Another film. Great, beautiful up for best film. picture. Yeah. Uh, All About My Mother is a Pedro Moldovar film that I put on here because mm -hmm. it just came out in a Criterion. Yes. And he was on my mind because I just watched 
the Antonio Banderas oh, film, okay. Pride and Glory. I have not seen the whole yeah, thing yet. Yeah, check it out. Which is about the life of Almodovar. Uh, it's, yeah, based, you can tell that there's a lot of him in that. No, yeah. no, it's a, it's his life story. I don't know if it's exact. No, it's his life story. That's what is it's about. Is he gay about. in real life? Because in the character... Of course he's gay. Oh, I didn't know he was Almodovar? gay. I didn't know he was oh, gay. Oh, my God. I had no idea. Oh, no, he's as gay as the, oh, okay. as the blades of... Oh, well, then it is very biographical. The tickle your behind. But it's a really good film. Yeah. And Antonio is excellent. No, Antonio is always excellent. And, yeah, you know, and you I can, can see why he got the nod. He you was can great. go back to many, many, many of the early Almodovar films. And, he's and in, there's quite he's a worked with him quite a bit. He, oh, he, he's probably made ten films easily. Close, with him. close to ten. But he did a film, uh, and he is a gay man. He plays Almodovar, basically. Everybody plays, somebody always plays Almodovar. There's always kind of a gay character that comes kind of out of the woodwork uh, during the course. But a a Antonio played him in a specific film, and it was about nuns and so forth, and him, yeah, yeah, yeah. how he had to go to the nuns and tell them that he was gay, and, and there's a lot of man kissing, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the film. It was uh, a great performance by Antonio. He's great. He's a very young guy. I'm glad to so. see him get a nod. This is his first nod. Is it? First time getting an Oscar nomination. What about The Mask of Zorro? He didn't get enough. I'm kidding, of no, course. He didn't. But uh, I, I didn't see the second Zorro. Film. I loved. Well, the first is the legend. The no, the first is the Mask of Zorro. Oh, and then the, the second, second is, is the legend. legend. I didn't and the see legend that not one. so great. Yeah, it's a hurt. You know, I just started watching. It's on. It's on uh, ultra high def on Netflix right now. Uh, the first one. What's yeah, wrong with that. your neck? You're going through. A I had a, a sore. a little sore. Trying to crack it. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were doing I'm slowly like turning into Edward Quasimodo. Norton. No, you're doing Edward yeah, Norton. In, uh, in, yeah, in uh, yeah. Tourette's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Tits, Big Tits. So let's yeah, move big, on. Big Tits. Uh, this is also on Criterion, the, the famous Fail oh, Safe. Great movie. Yeah, Sydney Lumet, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then Zombieland's officially out. Basically, if you saw the and first one, Black and Blue's I officially out. It's film. a very good film. You did watch this film? I did. Very oh, good great film. Great movie. Yeah, I really enjoyed Loved it. Loved it. Frank yeah. Grillo. He's great. Come on. He plays a real good what shit. One of his best. He's great. Evil mother. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Roles. I love yeah. Black and Blue. Check it out. It's really great. It's worth film. seeing. I love it, too. Uh, and then Adam's Family, for those that might yeah, care. Oscar Isaac right is a voice. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, yeah. another... La Pizza of that. Yeah, another Criterion, a French film. Is that as well. I always like to highlight... Alan Delon. It looks like an Alan Delon movie. He always. It's a Godard film, though. Oh, is it yeah. Jean-Luc? Yeah, I always like featuring the criteria. It might be Alain Delon, I bet it is. Yeah. And now just what's opening in theaters and what was opening, uh, what opened last week. Uh, we have this week, I want to see this, the rhythm section. I do too. Action film with yeah. Blake Just Lively. Good, right, too long. Uh, we have Gretel and Hansel. This looks weird. I'm not going to see that. But it's I another Hansel and Gretel it's... rehash. Okay, okay. Um, the last one with uh, with Jeremy Renner. Renner, embarrassing. That? Yeah, that looks no, like, that was like I didn't a 65 see it. minute film. I didn't bother. That Jeremy Renner yeah. was hands on Gretel. And they're like superheroes mm -hmm. out yeah. in their bow and arrow. Like awful. Yeah, it was horrible. This is supposed this to be very good. The assistant with Julia Warner, who is in Ozark. And she plays an assistant to a Hollywood producer, oh, I, so you can I, tell where I this know goes. Nothing about it. Yeah, it was supposed to be very, very, very good, and it's all about sexual She's great harassment. in Ozark. I she's will great. say that she's wonderful. She's wonderful. Yeah, yeah she's I'm the, glad this year gets a little. Uh, she's the yes, the sex club uh, owner yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. puts her in charge. She, yeah. She's wonderful. Yeah, if you ever seen Ozark, check it out. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Jason Bateman wonderful, show. Wonderful, wonderful show. Um, and uh, who else is in that? Well, Laura Linney, Linney, of course. Laura Linney and a bunch of other great actors. That's a great little show. This is our kid. There's a kid on that yeah, there's show. There's some kids that are very good. I believe yeah. he just died. In One of the life? kids. Yeah. Uh, he he just, or he was. Uh, no, I don't think he died. He was arrested for doing some horrible thing. Oh really? I have to look yeah, it up. He uh, stabbed somebody. Oh, or that's terrible. Yeah, I know. That's not good. Um, this is how it's supposed to be interesting. It's all about. It's called incitement. It's about the assassination of uh, the prime minister of Israel, uh, Rabin. Oh. So that's getting some inside. some buzz. Yeah, this is getting some buzz. Okay. Uh, and then we have the gentleman that this opened up last week. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing it. I might go. We'll see if we're going to do there that for next week. I wish I could make uh, ice cubes that look like that. That'd be pretty cool. Beretta. I that bet was, you that exists. That would be cool. Somehow. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, the Turning is out. Uh, it looks pretty Horror cool. film Got with, um, bad with Mackenzie uh, that we mentioned Got before. Bad. Got bad. Um, Got I'm going to pass. Reviews. I'll watch it on video. Okay. No, you won't. Maybe. And Bad Boys... I have zero interest. Got great reviews, though. I know. Everybody says it's really entertaining. I didn't entertaining. see two. It's... I didn't love one. Uh, Maybe I I'll watch them it on both. video. They're interchangeable. Yeah, exactly. One and two, they're the same yeah. jive. A lot of cars doing that, that flip yeah, down the highway. Yeah, a lot of, like, you know, smart-ass comments. I know, you know I know. Each other. And, and, he, and he uses, I think uh, Michael Bay uses, like, the same bridge to film his Probably. car flips. You know, a car hits a, a cop yeah, car yeah, 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 and yeah, flips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spins in slow motion. A hundred times. Uh, yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and then we have this is uh, coming out. It actually is officially in theaters this week or last uh, week. This is on pay per view reel right now, I believe. Or not yet. I, I looked. Is it's it coming short? soon. Oh, I couldn't okay. find it. But it's a Vietnam film with a really good cast. Yeah. The last full measure. We well, have Sebastian I, I Stan. Got a, I got Pumper. a screener of this. And, oh, I might uh, want to watch I started that. to yeah. watch it, and uh, it's got a good cast. Peter Fonda. Peter what Fonda. must be his last film. Yeah, last I, film. Well, he's he's dead in this film. But they propped up his 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 body in oh, kind, of like a, nice. kind of like a kind of like a, a Irishman of... kind of thing. Oh, yeah. You know, they did the you know they did the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm that's not I true. Uh, but Peter's he's actually in the film, and that's it. There you go. So that's our show, folks. That's our show. Folks. Hope you enjoyed our little. I hope, uh, I hope it was worth the wait. Of 2019. You, know, you didn't get to see us for two weeks, so now your your life is complete. And now you'll your see life us next week. Full. And uh, there you go. We'll be back with more films next week. We'll be back with more films next Have a good week. Have a good weekend. And be nice to each other. Yeah, all that stuff. Where are you? Oh, yeah, Mr. Stone, yeah, Mr. Stone, yeah, Mr. Stone,